Jolie here for seconds out. Johnny Fisher, Big John. It's the uh, first time I'm doing one with you both together. Uh, I'll start with you, Johnny. How are you? How's things? I'm good, mate. How are you? All good? Yeah, good. I've seen you both in Vegas recently. Obviously, surprised. Johnny, how was Vegas, John? Beautiful. You didn't, you didn't seem too surprised in that video that we saw. And so oh, no, I was. We were told by Shane that we we're going to have a bit of dinner. And he's chatted up a couple of girls. And we we're going to have a nice bit of dinner. And then uh, I get Big John instead, <laughs> eating a couple of burgers. So I was nicely surprised, yeah. How did you find it? Well, he must have been surprised because Shane's never chatted up anyone in his life. So, uh, no, listen, it was, it was great. It was great to uh, surprise Johnny out there. We only went for three nights, but he'd been out there for the best part of a month. So we thought it would just be good. And I got a chance to see a bit of training, sparring, and it's just a great trip. Unbelievable. Is that your first time out in Vegas? Second time, second time. How do you find it overall? Obviously, you've got the casino. It's a boxing home of boxing, you could call it as well. It's just a, a surreal place. You couldn't explain it to someone that's never been there, but I just loved it. You know, loved it. It was 46 degrees when we was out there, record temperatures. And as I say, to combine the, uh, the casinos, the pool, the hotel, we stayed at the win. To combine that with watching a bit of training was just, uh, was just totally amazing. How was the training out there? We've seen you go before to train to spa. It was hard. It was grueling, hard work, especially when you're learning. It's like it's called the house of fundamentals. So you're learning everything from scratch again, like how to throw your right hand properly. You don't realise until you're taught properly again. You are doing a lot of things wrong. And if I can ingrain a little bit, a bit of that into my memory and just make it second nature, that's going to be uh, beneficial for me. Yeah. What do you make of the Joyce Parker fight? Obviously, less than two weeks ago, you've been with Joyce a lot. How do you expect him to perform on the 24th? This is the best I've seen Joe Joyce in terms of his, his ring craft, his, his sparring. He's adding different things. He's not just being a juggernaut. He's, he's adding different layers to his game as well. And I've seen that progression from 2019. So I've seen every camp he's getting a little bit better. And he's going to have to be a little bit better because Joe Parker's going to be the highest calibre of, of fighter he's fought so far. What's the latest with yourself? Obviously, we saw you out in Sheffield, of course, bringing a crowd as you always do. What's next? Uh, uh, we're going to be in the next... <laughs> in, this week, we're going to ho hopefully have an announcement and it's going to be in London, that's all I'm going to say. So we're going to have a big uh, run for Ball Army crowd out. We expect that to be at the O2? No, no. We'll see. It might be, it might not be. <laughs> Stop trying to catch me out. No, no, no. That's usually where... We've obviously seen you at Ali Pali. But, um, yeah, a lot of fans, it makes sense to go down to the O2. Definitely. No, I do like boxing in the O2. It's got a good feel to it. Obviously, I had the Torero fight there. But, um, yeah, there's some great venues in London. You've got the Copper Box, you've got Wembley Arena. Any of these sort of places, it's going to be good because I'll bring a big crowd with me as well, especially in London. OK, talking of big crowds, it seems like AJ and Fury are, are going to fight. Let's, let's kind of... I need to stop getting so excited. But today, AJ's yeah. team, 25 out, has said they've accepted the terms... Do you think we see that fight, John? I don't think it's uh, done by any long shot. I think it's a bit of toing and throwing at the moment. Mind games, yeah, we'll accept it, you know, and uh, then something's going to be thrown back. I think we're a long way off from uh, seeing. I hope it, I hope it gets uh, done, but I just, it's, it sounds like it's been too easy. That's, that's my opinion. I think it is a bit going to be a bit easier, though, because I've said this for a long time. Once someone loses... Or one of, and there's a loss on the record. It makes a fight easy to make. When you're both winning, you're both there. Still you know. sounds too easy for what yeah, AJ Fury. Fury. Once yeah. they send the contract, because there'll be a clause in the contract, because you know how contract negotiations work. There'll be a clause or something. that has got. There'll be two in and throw in. It will take a few more weeks. So I don't think it's going to be uh, signed off anytime soon. But hopefully it's looking promising. The next month or so, they might announce a fight. I don't think it will happen in this year. I think it might be early next year. I think if it happens, it'll happen this year because of Usyk and one thing and another. But hopefully it will happen this year. But I just think another couple of weeks before everything gets Actually, signed, sealed, signed, sealed and delivered. It's got to happen this year, obviously, because if it don't, there was other fights out there for Fury and Joshua both to take. Yeah, definitely this year if it happens. How would you see that fight going, Johnny? I'll start with you. Um, I'm a Tyson Fury. I've spent time with him. I'm a big Tyson Fury fan. And um, I think the over, overall skill set, the level, is, is just a little bit higher level than Joshua. But um, I'm not sitting on the fence, but that doesn't mean that Joshua ain't got the, combina he's got the combination punching, he's got the strength, he's got the brute force to do damage to Fury. So, as we saw with Wilder, if you clip him, anybody in the heavyweight division can go down. So, he's got to be on his game. And 
it's going to be exciting no matter what because Joshua always comes to win. And he, he gave you Usyk a great fight in the last fight. He, he pushed him as well. So it's going to be a good matchup. We obviously expect that fight to be one of the biggest. Would you say this is one of the biggest British boxing fights of all time? Of course it is. You know, you've got to respect what AJ's brought to British boxing. You know, world champion. He's brought new people into the sport. But Fury, I think, just surpasses everything anyone does at the moment. You know, if Fury's in the right frame of mind and he looks like he is all the time at the moment, he's extremely fit, he's sharp, I don't think anyone can get near him. No one at all. So I think if they do fight, it'd be a great occasion, great spectacle, but I think it'd be over in about five or six rounds. Yeah, we didn't explain why we're doing an interview here. It's quite a weird setting. I'm going to have to pan this round. uh, Big John's had an accident in the bathroom, in the shower. Oh, look, can I just read what's on the wall? Boxing is a weight-related sport. What's your weight? It's a little bit too late for me, but uh, young kids watching, there's true words. <laughs> yeah. It's a coincidence we've done it here, but uh, yeah, quite the setting. No, it's good, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Here, I was for a boxing club. I had, a, I had an amateur fight here when I was young, and Joe Joyce was handing out the trophies, and it's good to be back here now sparring. Full circle. Yeah. Turn so, full uh, circle. You're a boxer here, aren't you? Come in. Yeah, look, come in. Yeah, come, come in. in. Come in. Hey, hey, little man. Look, it's what it's all about. It's what's right. going to happen in your career, mate? Uh, Gonna win it all. Next in, next in charge, next up. Uh, 25th in the developments. Ooh, good man, good man. He's looking man. good, he's looking sharp. Thank you very much. Any final words on seconds? Uh, How about Bosch? Bosch! Bosh! Yeah. Bosh! Bosh! Bosh.